I love that that poem, Lucille's poem, uh, is about celebration. You know, um, that's an amazing thing. And uh, I knew uh, Lucille Clifton, and she picked my first book. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. And to know her struggles only deepens the poem, but I, I don't think you need that to know. When you hear that voice say, won't you celebrate with me? It brings you in, you know? Who can say no to that? Sure, you know, I want to. And then she tells you things that you might not know. And I love that she said, I made it up, you know? Uh, and that kind of self-invention feels very crucial, you know, for her as a black woman, for her as an African-American, for her as an American. It's, it's about triumphing over God knows what odds. We know from her other poetry what some of those odds are, but here alone, she's speaking much like the Negro speaks of rivers. She's speaking of herself, but also of these other broader eyes. Uh, Clifton often wrote with a lowercase i, and I think of that's almost bigger than any other i. You know, it's, it's sort of saying it's selfless on one hand, and it's also saying I'm so big that I can be contained in a little letter. I, I think that a poem like Won't You Celebrate With Me is, a, is celebratory, but it's also talking about that mix of the tragic and the comic. And the celebration isn't because things are only great. It's because I've made it up. I've made it past. I've made it through. Um, come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed. I think a lot of us can feel that uh, and, and know the ways that sometimes the world conspires against us. And in her case, I think you can she names what they are, born in Babylon. You know, and she's able in just a few lines to capture the biblical struggle that I th think she's encountering and and that for her uh, not just faith names but also poetry and I think that's really remarkable mm -hmm.